Hello, and welcome to the first random episode by me. Um, so, as you might have known with Project Phantasma, I kind of didn't uh, know what to do. So, I'm actually going to be playing a game from my youth that means a lot to me. This is The Lost Vikings 2. A lot of people might know Lost Vikings 1, but this specific game means a lot to me. I played it a lot as a kid. Uh, I really think it's really cool and underrated, and I barely have seen anyone talk about this game. So, you know, Armored Core is also like that, like, you know, not really much people talk about it. But, um, you know, I guess I can broaden everyone's horizon a slight bit. Um, let's just go for a new game and I'll explain everything along the way. I'll skip to the story because, well, I want to use as much of my game time as possible. So, what we have here is a puzzle platformer. So this first level is just gonna be an introduction of what everything is. So we have three Vikings here. Uh, Eric, Baliog, and Olaf. Um, so at the moment I am Eric right now. So this is the guy, he can jump. Um, he actually had, in part two now has a double jump. Uh, he has a head bash attack. And that's it. And also he can ram into walls. But you're stunned then at the moment. But if I press R now, I go to Baliog. He cannot jump, but he can use a sword, and he has an arm like that. So, what I now have to do is just take everyone to the right. Oh wait, and of course we have Olaf, and he's just the shield. As you can see, I can only uh, use one at a time, which means if someone gets attacked while I'm someone else, they most likely will die. But at the moment, I just have to like go to the right side of the screen, because this is just teaching you, like, look, you got three characters. So, let's just start out with uh, the first actual puzzle. Well, tutorial more like that. So, right now you have like an enemy over there, which, well, we have one guy that can actually attack. So, we use Baliok, take care of him, and he dropped a vampire bat. And we have a weird mouth thing there that shoots. So, what do we do for that? We bring Olaf. Oh, and right, if you use your shield like that, you'd fall slower. <laughs> so he can pretty much fall any distance. So, right now, we continue on quickly. Whoa. And we have a thing that shoots fire down. So, again, they can get through that. So, let's use Olaf to block that. And then, we use uh, Eric now to quickly get the last ingredient. Because now, every th uh, level, you need to gather three ingredients to bring to the witch here. It will take you to the next level. Let's quickly bring him over. There, we brought them all together, and poof. Now the thing with this is, if someone dies, you can never beat the level. It gives you the option to skip to, uh, you know, restart the level, but... You can explore around a bit if needed. Uh, so I just attacked an enemy there for uh, Olaf, so he can go down here, shrink, and grab the key. Um, like I said, this is very, like... Simple stuff at the moment because this is just a tutorial. So I use the key on here and I can go through and there's the first eyeball ingredient. So we have skeleton here. Oh no, what do I have to do? And I guess this is a good time to show that Eric can also attack by using his ram. However, it's a bit unreliable to do that because if you do that, he's stunned. So normally... Oh, hang on. Let me quickly bring Baliok here as well. Because, you know, I can't really leave all three Vikings on their own. Now, what I normally would have to do in Lost Vikings 1, I would have to use Olaf here to hold his shield up, and then Eric would be able to jump on him. Oh, to jump on him and go higher. But since Eric has a double jump now, he can just go up there himself. And, oh, that's an enemy. I can take care of it myself because he only has one health. Now I'm gonna select the key here, and I can use that key to open the lock here. Um. Now, another cool feature of this game, which is not going to be show uh, showing up anytime soon, is two extra characters. But I guess I could always use cheats to go there quickly. Um, but for now, I'm just wanting to show like the, the puzzles at the moment, the, the start of the game. So I just picked up a golden key, and oh, <laughs> that's what I get for being hasty. Uh, but, there's a keyhole there, and Eric is holding the key, and he can't really, uh, go, go through that hole. So what I have to do is give the key to Olaf, and he will have to go through and use the key- Oh, <laughs> 
I use the key. Also, some people might know the the characters here, the Lost Vikings from Heroes of the Storm, but well, I knew it before all of you. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Like I grew up with this and I'm very happy with that. Uh, so here we have a vampire who's invulnerable to attacks when he's in vampire form, but as soon as he's a bat, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, <laughs> I thought I was kind of messing up there. Then I can just attack him like that. Now then, Eric, your turn. And we have the next tutorial level. This whole first world is just one big tutorial. And this one is called TRSH, because trash. Because this teaches you how to trash your items. So, let's just play the level like normal. Bring Olaf there. And I also kind of want Eric here as well, so... They can go down the elevator, and Olaf can go here on his own. And... Oh no, I have four items, but I can't pick up this key. So what do I do? I throw away one of these heal items, so that I can use this key to get out of here. Which is good game design, by the way. Um, so, here we have something for Baliok, who can just do this, and we open up the gate here. And now, this part, we just use Eric to bash into it. And then he can go up here, and ta-da! He can let himself out, and BAM! Okay, normally I have to use Baliok for this, but the World 1 monsters are so weak, I can just take the hit there. Now then, uh, what's up ahead? Nothing more, so I guess we have to catch up with everyone else. Alright, now that we're all here, I can, again, use Olaf to block something here. The, the game is really teaching you right now, look, you can block attacks with Olaf, so keep that in mind for when you see enemies. And I go up here with uh, uh, Eric, and he can just bring the elevator down. And then I take Baleok up, and we have the entire group here, and all the three ingredients. So we have the mushroom, the eyeball, and the vampire wing. Okay. This is the last le uh, level that I'm going to be using all three of these Vikings, because the next one is going to introduce something new. Also, Eric is the only one that can swim. The other characters, if they touch water, they instantly die. Um, time to show another new mechanic, which is Baliok's uh, arm, and you can use that to swing across stuff. That's already cool. And now, another one. How will Olaf get over here? Because, you know, he can't jump, he can't swing, and he, he would just fall here, even if you uh, hold your shield up. But he got the power of farts! And using that power of farts, he can also break blocks. Yeah, I know, it's absurd. <laughs> but, now, let me get Baby Hawk here as well. And there's a few skeletons here, that's no issue. We can just take care of those. And that's pretty much it, but the goal of this is now to learn how to use the arm like that, and bam, there we go, open this up for Bea, for Eric, and there we go, got that section finished, and let me quickly go there, and I could practically speedrun this game, but I'm, I'm still taking a bit of my time to explain stuff. Um, and then we continue on like that, oh, 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 that was my mistake. And continue on, there, and we have a gate here to open, with the silver key, oh, oops, there, and, oh, right, I forgot about that little detail, I open this up, and now I can just quickly go through with Olaf, and pew, and just grab the key here, and a suspicious little bat wing, I didn't get it from any bat, so does that count? Well, we will have to see, so this is the witch is here. So, bring Eric there, and Baliok. Now, she says something about the, the bat wing being weird, but what's the effect of it? Oh, we have lost Eric, so we can't jump now at the moment. So, what do we do now? Well, let's just go through a level and you'll find out. There we go. And then open this up for Baliok because teamwork is a big thing of this game. And then with Baliok, I just go up here, open up the gates, and hey, there's someone down there. I wonder who that is. So I go here, and I. Oh, yeah, he calls me an hairless ape. 
And grab the key for Olaf. And he will go here. Talk to the wolf. And there we go. And we have ourselves a new character, which is a wolf that can jump and attack as well. So that's already pretty damn cool. And I kind of wish, you know, I would see this new character, you know, in stuff like Heroes of the Storm or reference like in World of Warcraft. But let's go down here. And we have a key there. I wonder who has to take that. And then use the key. And oh, we can't jump up here because Fang doesn't have a double jump. Oh yeah, his name is Fang. So, so even if I do this, I won't be able to make it. So what do I do? Of course, I wall jump because Fang can wall jump. And that's pretty handy. And we have a vampire bed. Yeah, there we go. There's our real wing. And now we have a trap. Yeah. So who is going to grab that key? I wonder who that is going to be. It couldn't be Bailiog or anything. Now, um, Olaf, come over here. Nope. And Fang, you can go up here. There. And then Bailiog can open up the door here for us. And boom. And we go up here. And here's the witch. And I think the next level is actually going to be the final level of this tutorial world. Okay. Yep, this is the final level. So, right now, as you might know, we don't have Baleox, so we have two jumpers right now. And, oh, hey, what's this? There's a secret there. How do I get there? Well, okay, let's go with the easy way now. Ooh, two hidden heal items. And don't use Fang to jump into the water because he's not immune against water, like Eric. And use that item because this is where the game teaches you that a nuke like that can destroy every enemy on the screen. There we go. And now we use Eric to quickly uh, open up the gate for us all. And as you might notice, I'm picking up different items because this is always the case in the last level of a world where you will rebuild a time machine. There we go. And I gotta open up the gate here for everyone. Oh wait, Fang has to open up the gate. My bad. There we go. And now, Olaf is gonna stand there because there's a little trap up here. See? So, we will use Fang to get the key over here. And he can then open up this. And Olaf can wait here while we got the opportunity to quickly go up here. And Eric can go up there as well. And now, finally, Olaf can go get up there on his own by being small and farty. Um, oh, the, the elevator isn't down yet. There we go. But there's another trap down here. So, we need someone like Olaf. And we bash this... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we bash this in. And then we thank Olaf for his help. And we go down the elevator. There we go. Now, is there something here? Yeah. Boom. There we go. Uh, I know there was a PC version and a PS2, uh, PS1 version of this game. But honestly, I didn't really think that, you know, was great. I think the Super Nintendo version, this one, is the superior one in every way. So, uh, enemy. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go, we're done. And Bailiog is here. Hey, Bailiog, what are you doing here? And then we take Olaf here. And we are going to the second world. And we are now in the Dark Ages. And, well, I was planning on uh, stopping with this episode uh, soon, but... I actually wanted to show something first, which is in the next level. And there we go. This is the next uh, fin final uh, part of the level, but we don't have any of the items, and nor do the characters stand there. So we just use Olaf here to quickly go down here. Um, he will quickly grab the key here. This is, by the way, one of my favorite songs in the game. It's such a calm music. There we go. Another secret meet. I'm not even like... 
I've played this so much as a kid, I'm not even thinking of my actions <laughs> anymore. And quickly, with Eric, we need to get the key up there, which is in water, and he's the only one that can swim. Uh, let me quickly bring someone down here while Eric was having his seizure. Uh, a seizure. Headache. There we go. And quickly go here. Oh, oh, wrong. And Eric can open up the next way. There we go. Uh, normally, this, this, this shielded guy can possibly block at times, but I was pretty lucky, to be honest. There we go. And another secret meets, which I can use to heal everyone with, but, you know, it's not necessary. There we go. Now, the, this next puzzle... Actually, is it really... A, no, I, I kind of messed it up. So, okay. Oh, uh, Eric's gonna take that down, and... He will go up here, and then Olaf, with his meat, by the way, I ate it, so for his health, he can grab that, which is one of the things needed for the final bit of the level. And then he can open up that, while I quickly bring everyone down here. I f oh, th there is fall damage to this game, by the way. That was actually kind of risky of me. Uh, let me quickly do this here, and he can quickly take care of these knights. There we go. And... Oh, shit, that was my mistake. Um, here, Eric, you can give your meats to uh, Olaf. There we go. And then the next one is a new enemy again, which is a dragon. But... Ow. That was my mistake. Ow. Woo, that's actually... There. I'm full health again. And boom, boom, boom. There we go. And then... Olaf, you are going to quickly block some shit again for us. Because Baliok needs to grab the final uh, item. There. So we got a magic wand, a dragon egg, and a scroll to bring to that uh, girl. And oh, uh, Eric can quickly bash this open. And then he will quickly go up here. Because he's practically the fastest. And he can wait at the wizard. Well, meanwhile, they are the slowest. Baliok is the slowest because Olaf can actually use his farce to accelerate. Which sounds weird, but hey, it works. And he will bring two of the items to the wizard. And Olaf, you can just quickly climb up here. And use your farts. And farts. There we go. And farts. There we go. Now let's go to the next level, which is going to be the final one for this episode. There we go. This is the level that introduces the final teammate, which is my favorite one, to be honest. And you will soon see though, who it is. Um, let me, okay, there's a free meat down there, but I don't really need it. I just want to get the key here. I'm blasting through this game, by the way. I'm recording for like 20 minutes, and I'm already at the second level of Second World. Now, we don't need Eric anymore because he opened up that gate there. And now we just use Olaf, who can then far through the shit. And then quickly go here. And he can just float like that. And then, boom! Hey, help! And here we have the final teammate, a dragon. An actual dragon. Like, there's not many playable dragons in video games, so this is actually really cool. So, oop, he can float, he can fly, but he gets tired from it. But, so floating. And, of course, he can spit fire. And opens up the gate there, and boom, wrecked. And I can take care of this dragon on my own. Yeah, he's, in my opinion, the best character. And we already have all three of the items needed for the wizards. So, first Olaf, and then the dragons. His name is Scorch, by the way. And then we have another dragon here, which I will take care of right now. Which I did. And the final thing here is... A, whoops! A knight. Um, Scorch, take care of it, please. There we go. Woo! That actually almost could have gone wrong, but we do have free uh, health, though. So, press the button, and Eric can go through here now. Oh, don't worry, by the way, he can't drown. He can, he, he can stay underwater as long as he wants. 
And then, whoop. Then we open up this here. And Scorch can now go through here to open up the gate here. Olaf will go through here because that's the last thing he has to do. And meanwhile, Scorch and Eric now have to work together to go through this part here. Where Scorch has to go through this part. Only one at a time can use that teleport. And Eric has to wait here. Oh, that's fall damage. Don't want that. Eric, don't accidentally stand on it. And he will pick up the bomb. Okay, fantastic. Eric, it's your turn now for this. I'll be Scorch. Oh, and I need to use Eric's weight to bring myself back up. Since I can't fly infinitely. There we go. Oh, ooh. There we go. That, that was a lot easier. Now, there is an enemy knight down there, but he can't reach Eric because they added, like, some invisible wall for him there. There. One, two, three. There we go. And then we use the bomb here, and we're at the end of the level. And since we're at the end of the level, we are at the end of the episode. This was the first random game I wanted to play. This is a game of my youth, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And hey, maybe I shown you a, a game that you've never seen before. I at least wanted to show this, the pairing of the next uh, le the level. So Eric, Baliog, and Scorch. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this different game. Um, I hope you guys might have voted yesterday about what I wanted to do for Project Phantasm. But in case you haven't yet, you still have like time for a few days. Anyway, that's the end of this uh, playthrough of this game. I won't continue unless like there's demand for this, but I really doubt that. Um, I'll see you guys in the next whatever thing I will do.